What is deception? Think of another word, an equivalent for deception. Yes, yes, that's the one I was thinking about. Lying, lying. Because if you're going to come up with an accurate estimate, what would that be, by the way? A way to predict what you're going to do in the future that really reflects what you're going to do in the future? Seems like an impossible task to me. And it's not only impossible, but I'm going to throw out a lot of uh, cognitive science research that will show you it is impossible. It is impossible. If you don't get to talk to me about this, you got my contact information. And by the way, several people have tried to send email to Linda at lindarising.com, and it doesn't work very well. So that's org, Linda at lindarising.org. And I'll be happy to send you any information about the papers that are in this particular presentation. And I have something to give away so that you can read one of the papers that I'm going to talk about. So this is an area that I care about. I have a PhD in computer science, and I've been working in this field for a long time. And I have come to face to face with a lot of estimation problems. But the crux of the information I'm about to give you has nothing to do with computer science or software engineering. It's all from the field of cognitive science or neuroscience. Now, I don't have a PhD in neuroscience. I thought about working on it. In fact, maybe you've been thinking, how is it possible that a woman of this age could have a PhD in computer science? Probably when she was going to school, they didn't even have a subject called computer science. And that's true. They didn't. So I started out life as a chemist, and then I became a mathematician, and then I became a computer scientist. And it's only in the last 10 to 20 years that I've become interested in things that are outside all the technical fields where I do have expertise, and now that's my primary interest. And one of the reasons for that is that the cognitive scientists do a lot of research that involves controlled experiments, and so they make progress. Unlike our field, where we are still having debates that we have had for 10, 20, no, yay, even 30 years. And